Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, very short uh, YouTube video being produced at quarter past four UK London time on the 1st of October uh, 2024. My name's Gavin Holmes, I'm the author of Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money. Now I've just posted a video um, that's on the Trading View channel. Um, many of you, are, I, I know, are, have already looked at it, but I want to post this on YouTube. It's going to be very quick. So we're going to look at the e-mini S&P and why it's falling. And we're then going to go and look at gold. And we're going to do it real quick. And we're going to use, in this instance, I've got Smart Center Pro on my other computer here. And I've got alerts coming in. And one of the alerts that I got here was about selling on the S&P. Now, everyone's bullish, aren't they? Yeah, S&P is going to continue to rise. But look at this. Okay. 15 minute chart breaks out of the old top look at the volume okay massive closes off near the middle but then we got to follow this through because that's a warning sign okay and that happened you know uh, it, it's a 15 minute chart so you watch it and now watch what happens next bar closes down doesn't close higher, it closes lower than the close of the previous bar. Hence the word volume spread analysis and smart money indicator, which is there, which, which we use. If that's all buying in that massive volume, and as it goes out of these old areas, retail traders buy. They just don't understand. And I'm desperately trying to get the message out here because if you buy at these massive volume spikes at the top, you're going to get killed. It's not going to work. So we've got to look at what the price action tells us. If that's all buying in this volume and it closes off the top of the bar, next bar's down, what's going to happen? This. And this is exactly what happens. The market gyrates sideways which it will do, and then it will try to break the top of that bar, which it's tried to do, but it will fail. Because look at the spreads, volume, spread, analysis, widespread, narrow spreads, two bar reversal here, tries to go up through the top, encourage you to stay long, boom. And we can see what goes on. Why do so many retail traders fail? And we can see what happens here. It gyrates, but it always will do one thing because of the selling in the background. Here was the sellers. Here was the narrow spreads. Here was your no demand bar. It's all logical. It doesn't change. And we can see now what's gone on. I mean, we don't need to even worry too much now about what's happening because I'm going to go to gold. Because that's what I've done is I've posted these setups as they were coming in on TradingView. Now, again, we're going to be doing it on, on, on our YouTube channel. We, we're, we're revamping our Facebook channel. But this is how the markets work. Look at the volume on there. And if you don't believe in VSA, you say, well, uh, volume's irrelevant. That is a trap. And then I want you to observe the spreads, the range of the bars narrows after this. There's a reason for that, which, which I can teach you. And then we get the mark down, which is clearly taking out this. So all of the longs are gone. In gold. Just done a event, a, a, a webinar on this and um, recorded it in TradingView. We had a massive sell-off up here, five-minute chart. It came back down. Now it's trying to push up. But the, the key thing here is we look to the next hour of which price bar tells us that this is not going to go any higher. We have to wait. It's not there yet. But the sellers did come in here, here, and here. And that's why it knocked it down. And that's on... The Trading View channel. Now, again, if you want to subscribe to that, it's quite easy. You can go to um, here, Gavin H. T. 
ten two seven seven. Okay, which is what it's my personal um, trading view channel. You can go and subscribe to that. You can follow it. I'm going to be putting another trade set up in the morning. Um, I should be up early watching this, and it will be on the Nasdaq, and you'll be able to follow it. There's no charge for that on that. So Gavin H one zero two seven seven. Okay. And it's a premium account that I use, and you'll better follow it. Now, just going back to what I showed you earlier with the E mini, okay, we can see the downward pressure because of what happened here. And I'm often asked this why is the background important? And I've deliberately blown this chart up to show you this because. The background is the start of what we call distribution or selling. Or it can be the complete opposite. It can be buying. So in any time frame that you look at, I'm particularly looking at the 15-minute chart, I saw buyers, I saw sellers. That's how the markets work. And if you look at the, the channel um, on TradingView, you'll find what I've said. The markets move on universal law, supply and demand, cause and effect, and effort versus result. If you can understand those three things to start with, as I've, I've said this many times, the fourth law is your belief system, it really is. Do you understand what you're looking at and your analysis does not cause what I call analysis paralysis, where you're looking at so much information, you don't know which way to go. I know it's uh, a, a, a bit of a silly thing to say, but kiss, keep, keep it simple, stupid. I know it sounds obvious, but when we watch these charts as Wyckoff experts, as, as volume spread analysis, smart money indicator experts, we look for supply, which is sellers, to come in, and then demand to change it. That's not happening yet. Well, as I film this at 16.22 London time on the 1st of October. You want to find out more, and I, I think it's probably the best place to go, go to volumespreadanalysis.com. And, and in fact, I, I will do this because it's on YouTube. You just go to volumespreadanalysis.com, okay, which is our website. And when you click on it, there's a, a really good interview here with Tom, Tom Williams. And he talks about something, and I'll, I'll probably will play it now because it's very poignant at this moment in time, and I'm not going to explain why, but it is. Um, and it, this happened in BP, the, the, the stock British Petroleum, okay, and, and again, I can see that when the news is bad, there's probably an opportunity if you if you there for it. So let's have a listen to this. I think it will be really important to what I'm about to show you um, going forward for Detective Holmes Follows the Smart Money, which is the course I'm doing. Next six episodes uh, are being filmed. We start again. We're going to do an, an extra one on Wednesday because of what's happening in oil. But let's have a quick listen. Well, the thing is, you see, if you're a professional trader, you've got to do your utmost to buy on low depressed prices. And the best way to do that is to create bad news, put out rumors, do whatever you can, seize the opportunity of some serious news coming in, uh, and then the market's markdown hopefully shakes people out of that. There was one example that we used to get up to all sorts of so-called tricks. <coughs> I mean, we used to trade Teledyne. And Teledyne, the, uh, the actual company, used to have a general, annual general meeting in Beverly Hills. And we used to plant people in there. In the meeting, there'd be a, quite a large room with perhaps several hundred people in there. And all the directors would be sitting up on the stage, you know, behind the table looking out at you. But we'd have planted questions 
to rather encourage people either to buy or encourage people to sell, we'd be asking awkward questions like we might stand up and say, is this correct? We've heard secretly that you've got a huge order from Saudi Arabia for your products. And of course, it was complete fabrication. Then the directors would look at each other and sort of shrug their shoulders. But the audience heard that and they think, aye, aye, they've got something going on. They're keeping it secret. And that would definitely have a nice big surge of buying next day. If you were distributing, we'd say, sure, we'll let you have it all because we bought in the Lowe's. We're now encouraging people to come in and buy it off us. That goes on all the time, that type of thing. If the opportunity is there, a professional trader will take it. And I'll leave you with this final words uh, that Tom, um, when, when he passed away, I was with him. He said something which was very interesting. He said, he said many things to me, but he said, with the volume spread analysis method, it's common sense. That's that's the words he said. Common sense. And now I was like, okay, but it doesn't appear to be common sense, does it? If the market's going up, you want to buy it because it's going up. If the market's collapsing, you want to sell it because you say, I'll get it out. And that's what Wyckoff told us the same thing. You, you, you Warren Buffett made it perfectly clear: you can't buy something that's really popular and do well. Having said that, in gold, there's been some really good buys. But they, the buying happens on the down moves. It doesn't happen on the spikes. And that's where people get caught. And that's where we can help you. So volumespreadanalysis.com is where you can go. You can find out a lot about what Tom said there. I mean, indeed, if you look here, it talks about a, a monthly chart. And, and, it, and it's still a story that sticks in my mind where BP said, well, we can't cap the well. And look at the volume that came in, monthly chart. And all of a sudden, at an old low, the volume stepped in, two bar reversal, and it, it went all the way up to just over 50. You can go and prove that to yourself. Don't take my word for it. You can go and look at a chart. If you want to find out more, about what we do, and I know a lot of you have, have, have joined our database, uh, several hundred in the last month, then you can always go to tradeguider.com, click on the live chat button, um, and you can get directly in, in, in touch with us. Thank you very much indeed for all your support, by the way. And again, you can see here, if you click on this button here, it comes up with um, the support agent, Laura, which happens to be my wife, chat now. You can just type in there and any question um, because Laura is my wife she's sitting right next to me so I can ask you a question good stuff all right and um, again I will I will make this announcement right now we have got an, a webinar coming out um, at the end of this week it's going to be Friday for everyone and we're going to be looking at two commodities and a cryptocurrency based on a system that I've been working on for some time, and you'll see it. Uh, and it, and it, it basically looks at supply and demand, of course it does, but it also looks at something different. It's called a car, a Kagi chart or KG chart, which is what Tom taught me. And I'll show you it. With that being said, thank you very much indeed to all of you, and thanks for your support, and I'll get this recording out as quickly as I can. Take care.